Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Here you can see uh, in our previous video we have uh, you know added the category right. If I click here you can see if I click on add category here you can see added successfully right. If I go to the database if I refresh here you can see the category is added successfully. Now uh, here you can see if I click here in this drop down category and we have here only one link add category. Now in this video I am going to add here one more link and that will be view category we we'll actually fetch the categories from the database to admin panel. So let's go. For this, I'm going to uh, go to the code editor, sublime text here, you can see. And here we have a uh, main design, right? We have to go to the main design inside admin folder. And then here you can see we have a drop down, and that is add category. I'm going to add here one more link and let's add the link as uh, view category. View category. And the route name should be view category, right? Admin dot view category. And it will actually go for the view category. Let's copy it. Let's go to the web.php. And here we are going to add one more route for the view category. And this one would be a get route, right? So I'm going to go here and I'm going to say view underscore category. View underscore category. And this is the view category route name. Uh, oh, sorry, admin.view category, right? Yeah. So I'm going to cut it and change the route name to admin.view category and it will go to the admin controller and from here we will say view category view okay category let's copy it go to the admin controller and here we are going to create a function and actually i'm going to copy this function from here and i'm going to actually cut the name from here and paste it here and we don't need request because this is not a form submission this is just a normal link and uh, here we are going to actually fetch all the items from the category so we don't need to actually mention here new i'm going to actually uh, remove everything from here that's it we'll just keep this one so this is for the uh, so this is the variable we'll actually keep all the category here so what i have to do we have to say here category uh, model then colon colon all function so we are getting all the information here and from here we'll actually return a route sorry view and the view will be uh, let's say i want to create a view and that is inside admin folder and then the view name would be mm, view category let's say and i will remove this capital c i will use here view category and i'm going to compact the result with it so that i can actually access the result in the view category so let's copy it and here i'm going to use semi uh, single quotation so i can actually use here dollar sign but i can use the name so now uh, it will actually go to the view category inside admin folder and with the value category value i mean all the category okay so let's go to the view category uh, we haven't actually created so let's go to resources then views then we have admin folder and inside admin folder i'm going to create a new file and the file name will be uh, view category right view c a t e g o r y category dot blade dot php and here we'll actually show everything at first i'm going to extend extends e e n d s extends the main design so th that is admin dot main design and here i'm going to add a section section and i'm going to end the section here and let's uh, name it a section uh, that is view category c a t e g o r category okay and let's go to the main design and here we are going to yield it main uh, view category okay so i'm going to say here y i e l d yield and uh, it will be view actually i want to use here underscore c a t e g o r y category so i'm going to change here also uh, view category here i'm going to use this underscore so now here we'll actually show uh, all the category so at first i'm going to actu actually i'm going to show here as table okay as table so that i can actually show as category id and category name okay guys i have copied a uh, table from the online so i don't want to actually show you the you know html because these are very basic it will be time killing if i show everything so okay so here you can see this is a table and we have table head and body and here you can see we have multiple random value i don't need all of them because i can actually fetch from the database through for each loop right so i'll keep only one 
and here you can see this is the category id and category name so i'm going to actually use here for each so for each and here i'm going to end the for each after this row end for each that's it and from admin controller here you can see we are getting the category so i can actually say here categories okay c a t e g o r i e s categories this is meaningful so i'm going to say here c a t e g o r i e s categories copy it save it let's go to the view category and here i'm going to say here that categories we have to use dollar categories as dollar c a t e g o r category single category and here we are going to actually show at first category id so i'm going to say here c a t e g o r category underscore sorry arrow sign id and then dollar category arrow sign category c a t e g o r category right because this is the database column name here you can see category but we can actually fetch it like this because we have to actually use here blade syntax so i'm going to use here blade syntax blade syntax blade syntax done now let's say i want to go to the if i refresh here you can see uh in if i click on this drop down category here you can see there is a view category option also so if i click on view category it should show me category id and category name right here you can see category id is six category name is test citizen that's it so we have fetched the category results from the category table in the admin template right okay so that's it thank you so much for watching